Hi, this is Helena Hart from CommitmentConnection.com and in this video I wanted to share eight rules for making a man miss you. This is actually one of the top questions we get asked here in our community, how to make a man miss you. And I've really found that there's a lot of confusing and conflicting advice out there on this topic. So I wanted to share these eight rules with you so you always have them to refer back to if you're ever at a place where you're feeling stuck or where you don't know what to do in a certain situation situation with a man. But before I get started, if this is your first time to our channel, be sure to click the button to subscribe to get all of our videos on how to have the relationship you've always wanted. So rule number one for making a man miss you is you don't want to play games or pretend or be inauthentic. This is very, very important. Playing games like pretending you're busy or playing hard to get might get you a short-term result with a man, but they'll never get you those permanent lasting results that I know you're looking for in your love life. Those things will actually backfire on you because a man can feel it when you're trying to do something to affect him in some way or make him feel a certain way or do what you want him to do and it will actually turn him off and make him feel unsafe and it doesn't compel him to want to come closer to you, it actually does the opposite. So you want to avoid playing games or pretending or doing anything that feels inauthentic to you. So that's rule number one, very, very important. Rule number two is something called mirroring. And this is really helpful actually in all areas of your life, but definitely in dating and relationships. So what you want to do is mirror a man's level of interest and energy and enthusiasm. So let me give you some examples. Let's say a man is uh, pursuing you and his energy is coming towards you pretty strongly right now. Let's say he's texting you and replying really quickly or calling you every evening or something like that. You want to mirror his level of interest. So, you know, if he's texting you, you want to text him back. You don't want to cut off that momentum because you know he might feel like you're not interested and after a while too much of that you know he'll he'll start to give up or feel like he can't win with you or he can't get anywhere with you on the other hand if a man is taking some space for himself right now let's say he's really busy or stressed out at work or something's going on in another area of his life, or he's just taking some space or time to himself, which is a really normal thing that men need to do from time to time. You don't want to you know, get needy and clingy and lean forward and try to get him to talk to you or get him to spend time with you in those moments when his energy is not coming towards you strongly. So in order to mirror his level of interest and energy at that point, if a man's taking some space for himself or his, if he's busy doing something else, you wanna pull all of that energy and attention off of him and put it on yourself and your own life where it belongs. That's what creates the space for him to miss you and want to come back towards you all on his own without any pressure or prompting on your end. So that is rule number two, mirroring, which brings me to rule number three, and that is when in doubt, lean back into your feminine energy. So if you're trying to do mirroring or some of these other things and you're not quite sure what to do, I always say you can't go wrong by leaning back, get into your feminine energy, focus on yourself and your own life. And if he's the right man for you and he's truly interested, he will absolutely miss you and uh, want to get back in touch with you all on his own. So when in doubt, lean back. Very, very important. And you just want to respond to a man from that place. Responding is a very feminine energy quality. Uh, initiating and trying to move the relationship forward is a masculine energy quality. Very important to keep in mind. Rule number four is you want to kind of leave him wanting more. So let's say you're on the phone with a man, you know, as women, we tend to want to like keep the conversation going forever because that's when we feel connected. But if you really want to make a man miss you, uh, and again, this isn't a game and you're not pretending, you really want to like be mysterious and kind of unpredictable and just leave him wanting more, leave him wanting to get to know more about you, for example, leave him wanting to talk, wanting to talk to you more. You know, if you, you know, if you're the one to kind of wind down the conversation, you know, and that leaves him wanting more. It makes him miss you and want to call you up again the next night, right? And you want to do this in a very warm and uh, authentic and open way. 
So let's say you're on the phone with a man and you know, we've been talking for a little while, saying something like, oh, I'm feeling really sleepy, I think I'm gonna you know, go, to, go to bed now, or something like that. And uh, you, know, you don't wanna reveal every single thing about yourself right off the bat if you're just starting to date a man. You wanna leave a little bit to his imagination, be a little mysterious and let things unfold naturally. Let him find out more about you organically rather than you like blurting it all out on the first couple dates. Very important. So leaving him wanting more, that will absolutely make a man miss you and want to you know, spend more time with you and get to know you more and more as time goes on. Rule number five is you want to end things on a high note. Uh, this is important for the first couple of dates especially. So let's say you've spent a couple hours with a man and you're having a lot of fun, but then the energy is winding down after that and you're feeling tired or maybe it's getting um, a little less interesting. You want to end the date on a high note because a man will typically remember where you left off, just like we will in a lot of ways. It's kind of human nature. You tend to remember those last moments. So not that you want to cut a date short or leave in the middle of dinner or something, but you know, I would recommend, especially the first couple dates, I wouldn't recommend going uh, you know, four or five hours. Of course, there's always exceptions to the rule, but if you can end things on a high note, kind of ties into the last one, leaving him wanting more, he will absolutely miss you and want to go on another date with you, want to spend more time with you. Very, very important. Rule number six is you want to create positive experiences with him and, uh, you know, associate yourself with positive emotions and positive interactions. This is important because in order for a man to miss you, there has to be something for him to miss. So if there's been a lot of drama or negative experiences or interactions between the two of you, he probably won't miss you all that much when you're not there, right? But if you're a source of positive feelings and positive experiences for a man, when you're not around, he's absolutely gonna miss you and crave that connection and wanna get back in contact with you and spend time with you so he can experience those good feelings all over again, right? So that's uh, rule number six, creating positive experiences with him. Super important, you know, because there needs to be something for him to miss and to wanna come back to when you're not around. Rule number seven is you wanna have a full, complete life outside of him and the relationship. And you know, this one is, it kinda of ties into all of these other ones. So when he's not there, rather than focusing on him or leaning forward and trying to like get him to come back towards you, you wanna lean back and it makes it really easy when you have this full, complete life outside of the relationship. Like if you have a lot of friends or hobbies and interests, things that you like to do that have nothing to do with him or your relationship. Very, very important. That's what creates that space for a man to naturally miss you and wanna come back towards you. And rule number eight is something called pacing. And that has to do with kind of going slower than he wants to go. And this could look like all different kinds of things. Like, you know, if a man wants to see you every single night, but you're not available every single night, you're available a couple times that week, um, you're going a little slower than he wants to go. And it's a little kind of frustrating for a man, not in a bad way, but it creates this tension and this pull for him to want more of you, want to see you more and spend more time with you and get to know you better. So if you're pacing things, you're just leaning back. And of course you want to respond and say yes when a man asks you out, but you don't want to be too available or give him too much of yourself you know this could play out sexually or just in terms of your time and energy especially at the beginning stages of a relationship so those are the eight rules for making a man miss you if you have anything to add here feel free to type that into the comments section we love hearing from you i hope this was helpful and i will see you next time thanks for watching and if you'd like to discover exactly what to say and do to get the man and relationship you've always wanted Click the button on the right side of this video to visit our website and I will talk to you soon.